we'll take uh, three problems in the CPT analysis. The first problem is the links problem, uh, where uh, the statement is as follows. Statement of problem is as follows. The flow net around a sheet pile wall is shown in the sketch, and uh, the sketch is as follows. The head of the water at the upstream end is 10 meter and at the downstream end it is 1.5 meter head of the water and uh, these are the equipotential lines and these are the flow lines it is pretty understood by you and uh, the, the value of the soil property or the properties of the soil are given it as coefficient of permeability 0 0.09 very very important over here it is mentioned isotropic if it is not isotropic KZ is different, KX is different and you need to take equivalent permeability. The problem is very, very simple. They have mentioned isotropic case. Fine. GS value is given 2.7. E value word ratio is given 0.85. The sheet pile wall and the bottom of the soil, it is given it as impermeable. So therefore, the first question asked is to find out the seepage loss in meter cube per day per unit length of the wall. Options are given 0 0.33, 0 0.38, 0 0.43 and 0.54. And then the second question, the factor of safety again is the piping fa failure is asked. So the options are given 3.55, 2.6, 2.6, uh, 2.93, 2.6 and 0 0.39. Uh, to begin with this problem, uh, it is very very easy. Uh, you need to first of all calculate the number of flow channels and number of the potential drops. So by looking at the towards the flow net, this will be the first flow channel, this is second, this is third and this is fourth. So NF number of flow channels are four. Number of potential drops from this to this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Number of potential drops, right? So if you don't know, you just place figure 1, 0 for, from this entry phase 0, 1, 2, 3 this is also a potential line remember because it is given sheet pile is impervious sheet pile is what is not flowing through this so therefore it be the equipotential line become perpendicular to the impervious layer this is impervious layer given this all are perpendicular to impervious layer. so this is also one so four five six seven and eight so there are total eight number of drops potential drops and four flow channels so uh, the formula is as simple in order to calculate the seepage loss so we have seen the formula q equals to k into h n number of flow channel into n number of potential drop very very important q is equal to here h it is h is very very important h even though in problem it is given h is 10 meter you are not taking h equal to 10 meter but if you take you will find one of the option and then q is matching to your requirements so head h in the formula is nothing but the net head loss causing the flow to occur so a log and right h is nothing but the net head loss causing flow to occur so if this is the h so from the problem h becomes equal to 10 minus 1.5 because this is the net head loss causing flow to occur this is net head loss this is the entry phase this is the exit phase the total head at 1 minus total head at 2 is the net head causing the flow to occur so it becomes 10 minus 1.5 it will be 8.5 meter so therefore q will be 0 0.09 in uh, meter cube per day per unit length into 8.5 into 4 divided by 8. So if you punch all the numbers, you will get Q equals to uh, hopefully 0 0.38. Uh, so I will do it for you. If you punch all the numbers, 0 0.09 into 8.5 into 0.5 it will be 0.38 meter cube per day per meter length of wall so this is the final answer 0.38 uh, yeah option b was matching so first answer is over so
Second thing, it, it is asked to evaluate the factor of safety against occurrence of the piping failure. So in order to calculate the factor of safety against piping failure, you need to first of all find out the critical hydraulic gradient. The critical hydraulic gradient, because you need to remember all the formulas because without formulas you are nothing. So G minus 1 divided by 1 plus E. But if you are not remember then you can derive it from uh, effective stress equal to 0 principle and the flow has to be in an upward case because the only and only if the flow is upward then and then only quick and condition will happen. So G is given 2.7, E is given 0.85. So it became uh, 2.7 minus 1 divided by 1 plus 0.85. So this becomes, I think, point uh, I critical became 0.9185. Yeah, 0.919, you'll get. So I'll take it equal to 0.92. This is the critical hydraulic gradient. I, the factor of safety against piping failure is I critical divided by I actual happening. How to calculate I? If you, if you have... Uh, looks towards this diagram see piping will not occur here piping will not occur here 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 no here flow is obviously horizontal no piping but yeah from five six and seven piping there are chances of piping increases piping there are most likely to be occur within this zone so if you concentrate in this zone the length is given it as three meter so smartly the for, uh, problem is formulated length is given it as three meter and the head loss delta h will be h divided by nd because this is the head loss and which is uh, uniform and uniform across all the potential drops so therefore the i becomes total h divided by nd divided by l which is 3 meter length so total head is given it as uh, causing the flow to occur 8.5 divided by 8 divided by 3 so you'll get the value equals to 0.3541 so you'll get i equal to 0.3541 so then the factor of safety will become 0.92 divided by 0.35 so you'll get answer it as Uh, 2.597 nothing but 2.6 this is the answer and if you look at towards the option yeah option uh, C is matching 2.6 so this finishes the uh, first problem in the seepage analysis we'll move ahead with the another two problems in the uh, next model thank you